Congratulations. You're who? Major. I'm Major Dick. Major Dick. And all the girls with you. Is yes, that right? Yes, our organization. Well, that's nice. Did you think you'd be in Tokyo so soon? We never thought we'd be here at all. You didn't think you'd be no. here so soon? Well, that's not... How many, uh, how many of you girls are over here? There's 81 of us. 81. And how many, uh, how many of the girls have been over here before? Have they? None. I don't think they have been out of the United States before. Well, then how do you like the looks of this country? What do you think about these places? Well, it's, uh, you think we didn't? USA would look a lot better. It would? Mm -hmm. I imagine all of you think that. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> yes. Do you, um, and you come over here, for, uh, what's your purpose over here now, Major? Well, we came over to South the General Hospital in Japan to take care of the prisoners of war that can take in here. Uh, we came over here to take care of prisoners of war Pardon. who have been in Pardon. Japan. Pardon. 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 Major, what, uh, what, what did you come over for? How many of you girls are over? Tell me all about there's, it. Well, there's 81 of our nurses right here at the present time, and we came over to set up a general hospital to take care of the prisoners of war in Japan. Which we hope to do in a few days to get started. You hope to get uh, started right away? Yeah, we hope so. Uh -huh. And uh, I guess uh, a lot of the girls expect to run into some people that they do know. Is that right? Well, it's a small world because every place you go, you meet somebody you meet. No. How many uh, How many girls do you tell me you have with you know about? 81. 80? Is that right? 81 nurses and 14 of those are the original group that came out three and a half years ago. I see. Well, that's uh, three and a half years ago. Yeah. That's a long time being overseas, isn't it? It is. How many of the girls came over that long time ago? 14 of them. Have uh, you got any girls here now that uh, come over at that length of time? Yes, Major Brodingham and Miss Marshall and Miss Nunley. And where is she? Miss Nunley. Miss Nunley. Well, I I'm glad to see you. Uh, can you tell us anything about your experiences over here at that time? I think the most exciting and work that we've done at all is taking care of prisoners of war in Brisbane. We took care of most everyone who managed to escape from the Philippine Islands. We took care of one group of 74 POWs to escape from the Val Penal Colony. They were put on a ship by the Japanese and they thought that they would be in character for Mosa to be interned there. And on their way around the coast of Zambowango, the ship was torpedoed. And Seven, where is this? Zambowango. Oh yes, yes, I know. 750 men, American prisoners, were on that ship and of the lot, 83 managed to live to get ashore. Well, tell us something about their conditions when they uh, came ashore sure there. We didn't see them, of course, until they got to Brisbane. Yes. They were flown down. They were brought by submarine from the bow, not the bow either, from uh, Zambawango, Zambo that peninsula. They were brought by submarine down as far as Windy Island or Biak. Oh, yes. From Biak, they were flown down to our hospital in Brisbane. We uh, were notified we had just a short time, didn't we? It was about supper time one night because they were all coming in, so we got all the nurses out to set up words get food and all ready for them for when they arrived. Uh, they were very thin, and most of them hadn't had shoes on for three years. Three years? Their shoes? feet were swollen so that they could Yes, tell us something about their conditions there, would you? Well, their feet were all swollen, their um, ribs were showing, they were very thin. Of course, having been fed by the Navy and some Army when they were first rescued, they, um, they had all sort of gotten fat around the waist. They'd gained 10 pounds on the way down. They'd they gained 10 pounds on the way down. Good And then after they arrived, we fed them almost continuously for 24 hours, plus getting them their first beer. They had their first beer party after they arrived. That, and uh, also had a dance for them, which they enjoyed, but they found it very difficult to put shoes on and dance. It felt very clumsy. We, gotcha. uh, Tell us about uh, where'd you get the beer from? The Way chaplain here. furnished the beer. The it was chaplain? Australian beer and very good. I know, that Australian beer is good, so they say. Um, very strong. <laughs> it is? How much beer did you have over there? A sufficient amount for everybody? Uh, At that time, we had plenty. You did. How many of the girls here were on that party? Let's hear about that. Who's that? Come over and uh, well, how'd you like it? Give us your idea about that party. How much beer did you drink? I think or? the boys really enjoyed it. They, had they did. So they could take care of it, sure. <laughs> Well, there's something else, Major, I was going to ask you. Uh, about the conditions of the boys' feet, I was vitally interested in that. Now, you say they haven't had shoes on in three years. Could they wear shoes when they put them on? Well, no, not at first they couldn't, because their feet were too swollen. Or else, if they had them on, they were so large for them. And they were, seemed very heavy, because they had been made march for miles and miles, and their bare feet over. Where? Now, your presence, what did you say about those? The largest group of prisoners of war that were taken care of by the 42nd came from the Val Penal Colony. 
They had been placed on a ship by the Japanese, and they thought they were being carried to Formosa, although they were not sure. The ship was torpedoed off the coast of Zamboango by one of our American sub submarines, apparently, and it went down fairly rapidly. Those prisoners were down in the hold, and at the time the torpedo struck the ship, the hatches were blown off, and some of them a small group. There were 750 on the ship, and only 83 of them managed to climb out and get ashore, mainly because the Japanese machine gunned them, threw grenades down the hole, in fact, tried to help kill them as much as they could. Those prisoners that did manage to get ashore were taken care of by the Filipino guerrillas, sent out on a submarine to Biak Island, and brought down by plane to Brisbane, where we had our hospital. They, uh, at first glance, looked to be a fairly good group of people. I mean, they didn't look too thin, and we thought that they looked fairly well. But the next day, when we started going over them, most every one of them had been hurt some way or another. Very few of them had escaped. They were thin, their feet were swollen. They had only the clothes that the Navy had given them. Most of them had come ashore without any clothes at all. The Japs had taken their shoes from them. They went around wearing a G-string, a little straw hat to protect them from the sun. Most all of them had malaria. The great majority of them had scabies. They had almost everything in the books. I guess they did from this uh, tropical country over here. Major, uh, where you were in on that uh, down there, were you not? Did you say that you were in on it? Yes. And what, uh, what's your experience on that? Uh, did you have any particular experience that you want to tell about? Anything? Come right over here and uh, tell us about well, it. No, and you no, people. Nothing particular except that uh, Come right on over we here. did as much as we could for them in uh, trying to uh, make them feel like uh, they were back in safe hands again. Yes. With uh, their own people, and I think they were very uh, happy to see American women again. I bet they were. As a matter of fact, at one of the parties that uh, we had for them, which I attended, one of the young lieutenants said, oh, what is that perfume? Just like my wife was wearing the last time I saw her. Probably at that time, it was four years ago. That was four years for him, yes. Incidentally, Major, how many girls do you have over here now that's new girls? You have, uh... Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Miss uh, Gay, where is she? Okay. No, what? How do you like uh, your new destination here, if you call it a new destination? Well, I never thought I'd be here. Only six weeks ago, we were back in the States, and now here we are. It was a grand thrill to see that American flag out there in the harbor when we came in, believe me. You mean right here in Tokyo? Right here in Tokyo, that's right. You like that? Well, that's mm -hmm. good. Uh, incidentally, um, you've got uh, expecting to see any of your friends over here, do you think? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of looking around. I think out of all the people in the States that I know, there ought to be a few of them here anyway. Well, that's true, but not, they soon will be because there's going to be lots of soldiers here as of soon, I think. Also, a lot of the uh, naval and uh, all branches of the military service, I can imagine. Well, I'm looking for the Air Corps. The Air Corps? I have a husband. Oh, you have a husband. <laughs> Tell us about that. Tell us about that. Well, he decided he'd do his bit. He volunteered three years ago and, well, I volunteered right after he did. Really? Well, not right after, but I volunteered. Anyway. You did? Now, what do you think about these girls? They've really been for the, for quite a procedure here, haven't they? Well, I think they've all done a grand job, and I only hope that we, the youngsters, can halfway fill their shoes. We want to keep their reputation going and really well, establish about, themselves. How about this? Well, this girl here, one of the youngest years, yes, is you Mrs. Fran. Again? Mrs. Fran, glad to see you over here. Are you glad to be over here? I think we are, and I think we're very lucky to be here and be with such a unit that has the reputation that they have and the grand work that they've done. Wow. We only hope that we can carry on after they go home. Oh, yes. Their record up. Yes, these girls had a, they really have did a wonderful job over here, and I'm sure it's appreciated each and every one. Actually, it's shown, and you can tell it from the reception we get around. We hope that's the way they feel about it. And how many, um, any of the other girls here now might want to say who was with you now. We've been here two years, Miss Abby, you know, over three years. Miss Abby, is that true? Come over and give us some of your experiences. You must have had some in this length of time. In two years, that's 24 months. <laughs> well, Miss Abby joined us about a year ago. And I can tell you something about the hospital since she's been with us. Well, that's very fine, the Major. We're glad to have you here in Tokyo, over here in Japan. I hope you like it over here, each and every one of you. Of course, we don't like it as well as we do in the United States. But we'll say this, that uh, 
with the uh, being over here under the difficulties that we might run into. While we'll say it's wonderful to be able to see each and every one of you over here, and everybody be here. So thanks very much for coming Thank up you. and give us uh, the little hand that you have given us. Thanks to each and every one of you. Very good. Hope you have a nice time over here. Thank Thank you. You. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye. You. That's fine. Let's see this man now that we get